El Greco's paint in St. Peter, painted around 1595, is executed with the dramatic flickering paintwork, the ethereal lighting, the irrational space, and the elongated figures that are so characteristic of the artist's style. It's a subject to which he often returned, and there are at least a dozen depictions of the paint in St. Peter by the artist and his workshop. It's a story that comes from the Gospel of Matthew, in which Christ tells St. Peter that on the night when Christ was going to be arrested, Peter would deny three times that he knew Christ, that he was associated with Christ. When this eventually comes to pass, Peter is distraught, penitent, and goes off uh, to console himself. The subject is a popular one in Counter-Reformation Spain because it becomes such a focal point for devotional images. We see Peter looking up to the heavens, or in other, in other cases, we see him actually crying, uh, sad at what he's done. It's a story or a subject for painting that becomes a typical icon for devotion, one with a message to sinners that there could be forgiveness. After all, Peter goes on to receive the keys to heaven and become the first pope. There are a few other things worth noting in this painting. In the background, we see an angel and Mary Magdalene. This is the moment where the Magdalene goes to the tomb and learns that Christ has risen. And the angel tells her to go run off and to tell Peter. It sort of foreshadows the forgiveness of Peter and the continuation of Christian history. And then, down here on the tree in the foreground, revealed in a cleaning a few years ago, we find the artist's signature written in Greek characters. Although he's called El Greco in Spain, his real name is Domenicos Theotakopoulos. He's an artist from Crete who trained there, then in Italy, before he moved to Spain, where he had a long and successful career.